Welcome back to Tom's Garage. Today, today on Tom's Garage. <sighs> Boy, it's cold out here this morning. We're going to do something I don't normally do. It's my policy not to do it. This is the only time I'll ever do it. What am I talking about? Ooh. Craftsman R1000. Yeah. Also, well, this was branded of Craftsman. Also a Troy Belt TB30. Yeah. Yeah, worked on plenty of these. Today we are going to bypass a safety switch. Yeah, the only, the only safety switch I will ever bypass and it is the safety switch on the discharge chute, right there. Whether you have a discharge, or in this case, this man has a tube and a grass catcher. And you can bump that little thing a little bit and it'll jostle it out of place and it'll kill the tractor because of that right there that little switch and every one of these I have they all have the same problem it's just a poor design it is a terrible terrible design so I'm going to show you how I like to bypass bypass that boy let me grab some tools fellas and we'll get busy this bar right here out of the way little clip just get that little bar out of the way unplug it and I like to blow a little air in that connection right there this thing just gets absolutely full of crud and you got one little 5 16 headed screw little shoulder bolt and there we go there we go blow it out real good let's take it over to the workbench and i will show you how i do that all right i'm going to use a 330 seconds drill bit and what i plan to do what i plan to do is push that button all the way in and just drill all the way through it. 330 seconds hole. And then what we're gonna do is come right over hither. And we're gonna grab a 330 seconds by one cutter pin. Cutter pin. Okay, set the old camera up, let you get a good view of that. Let's see here. I've already got the little hole started. Let's see. We'll put it in there and just compress it. Like that. And we'll just drill right through it. Because right now you're just drilling through all plastic. The spring is compressed way down here. And I drilled it right past the hole where the screw holds this thing down. Because you know, I don't want to get this in the way and you can't get a tool on that screw. And then, let's see, I'm going to come from the back side.
because I don't want the head of this cutter pin sticking out. It's going to get in the way of that screw, like I said. Just like that. Nice tight little hole. I'm going to take a hammer and just kind of hammer it in. Hammer it in. And there we go. There we go. And we'll just bend the tabs out. Nice and flat and out of the way. I'm even going to go as far as to... Give it an extra little squeeze. It'll go nice and flat. And that's how I like to do it. Then we'll come right back over hither. And we'll just reinstall it. You've got a little tip on the bottom of this. Make sure that little tip right there goes back in this hole. Right behind the threaded hole. And I'll take the switch and I'll plug her back in after I blew her out real good. Now you'll see when that little tip goes, yeah, there we go, went right in. Oh boy. Every one of these tractors I've ever worked on has the same problem. And we'll put the bar back on. Put the little clip back in. All right, that is one fine little bypass safety switch. And like I said, that's the only safety switch I will ever, ever, ever bypass. It's not safe, but that's been a problem on all these tractors, man. You just bump that chute a little bit and it'll just kill that tractor. Everyone I've worked on, I've, I've done so many of those and everyone I worked on had the same problem. Uh, and we're going to finish off today. I'm not going to film that, but I'm going to do a... This one's got the power mower engine. Which I am not a crazy fan of. Not a fan of the power mower. But we're going to do a service. We're going to do a spark plug and oil change for him. Uh, air filter if it needs it. I don't even know if I've got one of those power mower air filters. Maybe we could just, maybe we could just clean it. Save them a few bucks. I don't want to have to order one just for this. Oh, we're going to go change the fuel screen. A little fuel screen right there. Sharpen his blade. Grease his front end. And I believe... I believe that's going to be it. I'm going to deliver it back to him and, and get some of those geetuses. Well, boys and girls, y'all be real good. Thanks for watching this short little video. I know you're probably used to me doing these four-hour videos. Mm. Y'all be good. I love you guys, and I will see y'all on the next one.